Are you dating a frog? Think a kiss from you is going to magically turn him into a prince? Forget about it. If you're dating a frog, get rid of him and throw him back in the swamp. Hi, I'm Marilyn Anderson, author of Never Kiss a Frog. It's a girl's guide to creatures from the dating swamp. We all know that we tend to go out with guys who aren't right for us or who we don't like. How many times have you maybe gone out on a date and come home really depressed and one of your friends will say to you, well, you have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prince. Well, now I'm telling you, no way. You can't find a prince if you're busy kissing frogs. And that's why I've written Never Kiss a Frog, because I show you all the frogs, or a lot of the frogs, that you should stay away from, because they won't turn into princes no matter how many times you kiss them. So now I'll go over with you a few of the most common frogs you're gonna run into. The first one is called the long-term go-nowhere frog. I know so many women who hang on to guys for so long, two years, four years, five years. This is the guy who's always there. He's just never there to say, I do. <laughs> and what I say is, this guy isn't commitment phobic, he's commitment frogic. So this is one you should definitely throw back into the swamp. That's the long-term go-nowhere frog. <laughs> then there's a frog I call Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Toad. Now this is the guy when you go out in public, oh, he's wonderful, he's sweet and charming, he's lovey-dovey, your friends think he's wonderful. But then when you get back home and the doors close, he's mean to you. He turns into a harsh, crass bully frog. And I have a wart warning for those women who are dating this guy, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Toad. And the wart warning is, if he's got a split personality, you should be the one to split. Girls, we've all been through it. The guys who are not right for us that we hang on to too long, and they're the frogs. I'll tell you about one more frog. You know the guy, Sir Frogalot. This is the guy who, when you first meet him, he's wonderful, he, he brings you flowers, he brings you candy, he takes you in an intimate restaurant. But then, as soon as you get intimately involved with him, He's out the door. You never hear from him again. What's his name? Sir Frogalot. <laughs> right, and the wart warning is, he's all flowers, candy, and tons of romance, but that all ends when he gets in your pants. And how do you keep away from a guy who's Sir Frogalot? Make sure you know him better. Don't get too close too soon. I always say, if you don't like him upstairs, don't go downstairs. Anyway, this is Marilyn Anderson, author of Never Kiss a Frog, telling you frogs do not turn into princes. And if you think one will, forget about it. So visit me at neverkissafrog.com, or if you have your own frogs you want to tell me about, you can write to me at marilyn at neverkissafrog.com. Remember, please, never kiss a frog. Thanks.